Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One from a post from Snoop Dogg that included some details about Eminem that stirred debates on social media. We also have more on the reasonably shady trademark dispute that hit the web a few days ago. And though many had no idea, this reportedly ties in Charlemagne and he was getting clowned on The Breakfast Club for this that sparked reactions from fans on social media. We also have more that's got some fans on Twitter in tears linked to Ben Zeno. As apparently, he has been going at it with some Eminem fans recently. It's no wonder he spoke about Eminem fans in the recent interview where he pretty much stated, when you look at Eminem and his fans, they are the most craziest disrespectful fans that we have in the culture. And this reportedly happened on Twitter before we covered this story, when he tweeted at a fan who was roasting him. I'm in Boston right now, I bet you won't link. The fan reportedly called his bluff and this happened. <laughs> And check this out, Benzino wanted to fight me a half hour ago, laughing emoji until I said, where and when, because I'm ready. Then he immediately deleted this and blocked me, so who's the clown? Man, Eminem really did a number on old Raymond, but this user was warned, that's elder abuse, man. Moving on to the next point today, Snoop Dogg's recent post on IG stories stirred up some debates on social media. When he shared this, how much rappers charge for a verse, and it starts with Eminem at $3 million down to Jay-Z who charges respect only. And this sparked confusion, Eminem can't charge $3 million, the people with whom he has collaborated do not have that budget. And some are now wondering, why would he post that and doesn't even charge people he respects? From what we know, he should be down there with Jay-Z at $0 respect only. But some believe it's probably outside of friends. Perhaps that's the placeholder fee for those who want a feature that he doesn't respect so they know it's out of reach and it ain't happening. But check out this exchange. That's not true. Multiple rappers have said M doesn't charge. I don't know why Snoop is posting that anyway. Which got this response. He said in a response, things have changed since the Super Bowl. Shrugs emoji. It's gotta be a placeholder. And I think we can all agree that Snoop certainly did not pay Eminem $3 million for From the D to the LBC. And this was Snoop's reaction under the post. My ish went up after Super Bowl, laughing emoji, free for the homies, but if you a business move, I need all mines. So I take it over $250,000 for Snoop. And this whole thing reminds me of when the game had to take out NBA Youngboy's feature from his last album as they couldn't afford to pay his fee, despite the fact that he got a 50% discount on $300,000. I guess YB wasn't about to take respect and $0 from game. Sir, your card was declined. Moving on, some details recently emerged that show the trademark dispute between the Reasonably Shady Podcast and Eminem actually ties in Charlemagne, as the Reasonably Shady Podcast is reportedly on his network, and his co-host Jess Hilarious, who's an Eminem fan, brought this up to clown him in a recent episode on The Breakfast Club, and this made its way to Twitter. I just know he's sick to his stomach that his new female host's favorite rapper is Eminem, and he's in a trademark dispute with M over one of the podcasts on his network. No, no. <laughs> Robin and Giselle. Well, yeah, these people they yeah, they they technically under you. Are uh, they gonna I think, change I think, it? I think I think I think you can use it as the name of your podcast. I don't think that they can uh, trademark it for merch and stuff like that because he already has the. I guess he has everything shady trademarked for merch and records and everything else. So I don't. I don't think. I don't think you can use shady for anything. You can't use it at all. Well, that, I, I don't know why y'all asking me. No, these your they people, partners. They work, you yeah, partner they, with them. Yeah. Reasonably shady is on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network, but that's what lawyers are for. Okay. I have no idea about any of this. Okay, okay so Eminem. I saw it in the news like y'all did. And it's wild because as you heard from Charlemagne, he knows it was a wrong move for them to try to trademark the Reasonably Shady podcast to sell merch. Remember, many on Twitter were faking outrage accusing Eminem of trademark bullying when he literally owns the shady trademark and Jess Hilarious rubbed it in. No. Alright, so now you know he's coming for you. Yeah, coming I just for wanted you. to let you. you know that. Yeah. Make All sure right. you listen to the Reasonably Shady podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network hosted by Giselle and Robin. And make sure you listen to Carefully Reckless yes. hosted by Jess Hilarious on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast I don't think it's called Reasonable network. Shady anymore though, but those are two of our top podcasts right <laughs> Yes, here. yep, two of the top, two of hey. the top, yeah. And Eminem is my favorite rapper anyway, that, that's just a fact. Okay. Alright. That don't mean... And this sparked reactions like Charlemagne is such a hater, which makes this lawsuit even more entertaining. This is a key detail that wasn't included in earlier reports about this story, since Eminem's got history with Charlemagne, which certainly makes this even more spicy. And this is news to many users. I didn't realize that podcast was on his network, and now it makes even more sense. LOL. But the fake outrages are still at it. Despite the fact that Eminem has owned Shady for over two decades, some are still fuming. Eminem should be ashamed of himself. 
Why? Why? For going after a single mother raising young girls over using the word shady. He doesn't own the word shady. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Jeff Ramsey. Also, when I hear the show title, Reasonably Shady, last thing that came to my mind was M. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And see you on the next one.